Hey, hey, it's Aman here. In this tech tutorial, I'm going to share with you what are bundles in system IO and how are they different from courses? So I'm going to share my screen and show you an example of what a bundle is and also how to set it up. But I want to give you a bit of a high level overview first. So with system.io, there is a course area. Now I do want you to understand that course is not just courses. It could be for memberships, challenges, summits, things along these lines, any sort of digital download, private members area where you basically want to have somebody where they have to enter their name and password basically to log in like their own private members area because they bought something and you want to protect your digital content, you would use the course feature. Now, in some cases, if somebody joins a membership or something like that, then you might have a bunch of courses that you want to give people access to as a group. And that's what's called a bundle. An example of a bundle that someone I'm going to show you is eight different courses that system IO is selling and you can do those courses yourself, but you can also resell those courses. Typically system.io offers that periodically. It's called PLR private label rights, and you can buy it for $97. Now I actually offer that for $10 if somebody wants to buy it from me. And that is available when they join my templates membership, which is 99 a year. So that's something that I use where I basically use an order bump for the bundle. And that is part of the checkout. So you have the main product, which is my templates and guides membership. And then you've got the order bump, which is the bundle of courses from system.io, which you can number one, do yourself. Number two, you can just resell as your own courses as well. So if you don't have a digital course, then I'm literally giving you eight digital courses that you can resell like that. And I've got a full tutorial on that on my YouTube channel on how to set that up as well. So I'm going to go ahead and share my screen and show you that bundle so you can see what it is, how to set it up. And then also at the end of this video, I'll tell you a little bit about how to get access to resell those courses yourself for just 10 bucks. And that's going to be uh, explained at the end of this video. So I'm going to go ahead and share my screen to explain to you what bundles are and enjoy. So you've got when you hover over products, you have courses. When you click there, you will notice there's courses, bundles and students. Now courses are individual courses and you can hover over here, here or here to be able to see more of your courses. As you can see, I have quite a few of those. Now with a course, it is one product and that particular product has its own modules and lessons. A bundle, on the other hand, is where you take a few of these courses. So as you can see, I have a lot of courses here. As you can see at the time of recording, got 48 courses here. And by the way, that does not mean that I have 48 live. I have a certain amount that are live, some that are in draft, some that are ideas, things along these lines. You can go to workshop.comtruths.com to see all the ones that I've got done and those that are in draft, those that are planning to be created and so on. Now, with bundles, what I want to do is I want to create a bundle. So it's a collection of courses that people get access to. In this case, I'm going to do a collection of system IO TLR courses package. Click on save. Now here, if you click on the three dots, you can see that you can deactivate, which will make this check mark, not green. It will make it gray. So I'll show you what that looks like. And then you will click on confirm. And that means that that is not activated. Now I'm going to click into it. And now you can see that it says course bundles and then the bundle itself, the name of the bundle, and I can add the individual courses. In my case, I'm basically going to add all the system IO courses that I bought as private label rights. So the first one is how to make hundred dollars per day with your email list. Then I'm going to add business coach. I'm going to add financial freedom formula in the system to launch an online business, launch it 60 K in four weeks, how to write copy that sells, how to make your first thousand dollars online. And that is the bundle. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now I'm going to go back to course bundles. I'm going to click on activate. And now this bundle is live and I can give people access to this particular bundle as part of a funnel. 
of any sort where I want to add it as a resource. In my case, you will see that I have my templates and guides. I've got the membership and I want to create an order bump where somebody can grab it. So under digital product, under resources, I can click here, hover over course bundles. And now I will see the bundle that I created, which is this one. So that is how you use bundles in your system IO account. And in this case, I basically use the PLR courses that I got from system.io. This is extremely applicable, especially if you have a lot of courses, which in my case, I have a lot of small courses, workshops. Okay, thank you so much for watching. So I wanted to tell you a little bit about additional use cases of where I use bundles in my business. So you can kind of understand the different use cases and see if that fits what you're doing as well. So if I'm selling standalone individual courses, then I am selling that as its own individual course. For example, if you go to a run.link forward slash LP, that is my landing page in a day course. It's one course. So I sell that as a standalone individual course. It's $5, somebody buys it, happy days. Now, if they buy the order bump, which I have on that page, which is thank you page in a day, that particular course is also a standalone course. So in the members era, they're going to see access to two different courses, landing page in a day, thank you page in a day. That's going to be available if they buy the $5 course and the order bump. Now, I have additional upsells. Now, one of the upsells is called the List Builder Bundle. And I've got a collection of about six different courses, landing page in a day, lead magnet in a day, email sequence in a day, Facebook organic mini course, things along these lines. If somebody buys that entire package, it's about six courses, I don't give access in the resources section of my funnel to individual courses. Instead, I created a bundle called List Builder Bundle, which is a collection of all of these courses, maybe six, something like that, okay? So that's another use case for a bundle. Another use case for a bundle is if somebody makes a purchase of my templates membership or my courses, all my courses, because I got about 10, 15 plus courses, right? Depending on when you're watching this, there might be more. Um, the point is that I don't give individual access to the bundles. I actually give access to, uh, to the courses. I give uh, access to a bundle and in the bundle, you could see basically everything in the one place. So that's just to make the distinction of how to give access to that way you don't have to click resource course, 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 course. You just choose the one bundle and that has all the courses included in that one package basically. So that's kind of the different use cases I wanted to share with you. So thanks a lot for watching. If you got value from this tutorial, please leave the word value. I'd love to uh, hear from you and get your feedback as well. I'll greatly appreciate it. If you have additional questions for me about courses or bundles or anything like that, please leave a comment with your question. Somewhere around here, you'll see a video with the tutorial I have on how to set up a private members area as well, which is a really good tutorial for you if you want to sell any sort of digital product online.